Hey everyone, it's Rob with Passport to the Parks, and today is Wednesday, July 19th, and I'm out here at uh, Disney's Pop Century and Art of Animation Resort on Hourglass Lake, where some really severe weather is starting to pour in here uh, across all of Central Florida, and there are some pretty severe lightning strikes going on all around here, and my camera's blown all over the place. The wind is really starting to pick up, uh, some really heavy rain that's going to be coming in, so we're going to take a look at uh, you know how the Skyliner holds up through that. The, it's totally shut down now. The gondolas are just there. Uh, shouldn't be any problem for them to handle uh, any kind of heavy winds and stuff as it goes through. So um, we're going to take a look at these lightning strikes all around and just some really cool uh, footage. Uh, all about safety though, so there's nothing uh, happening with the Skyliner. Nobody's on it and it is not moving at all. So definitely safety is always first. So let's uh, let's get you turned around. We'll have some fun. Okay, the wind and the rain is starting to pick up a lot here. See the trees blowing pretty good. Rain is starting to come down. I've had uh, multiple lightning strikes all around. Uh, gondolas are barely moving though. Water's starting to ripple pretty good around us. Whoa, there's some lightning there too. Wow. Luckily the rain is holding off a little bit here, and the wind, just a lot of lightning all around. And again, these gondolas are completely shut down. They will not be operating in any sort of weather conditions like this. See all kinds of little flashes out in the distance and then every once in a while you get a really strong lightning bolt that comes down. It's one way in the distance back there. Unbelievable. Really starting to get rumbly now. It's getting a lot closer. A lot of weather moving in from the west coast. It's supposed to get really bad lightning storms. They're even talking about uh, tornado warnings in the area, possibly. It's 
it's very still, like the wind has completely stopped, which is usually, they call it the calm before the storm, obviously. So it gets very still, and all you see is the lightning in the distance, but I hear the rumbling. So it's like a really eerie feeling when everything seems very safe, but it's not. <laughs> it's gonna get real, real hectic here real quick. Seems to be passing just to the, that's like the southeast of us. So it's moving in from the west. It was moving in from this direction over here. Maybe it'll stay just a little south of us. Which is nice, we we'll still get some, uh, some really cool lightning shots, but the weather can stay, stay away from us. All right, everyone, so there you have it. Uh, that was pretty cool and pretty scary all at the same time. Those lightning crashes were coming down all around us, but they were very neat to look at. Uh, we definitely know one thing that safety is going to be the very first issue here at Disney. Uh, they wanna keep guests safe. So we know that these, these gondolas are not going to be running in conditions like that. If there is lightning within five to, I would even say 10 mile radius around the system, they're probably gonna shut it down. Uh, they definitely don't want people in the gondolas at that time. Any kind of uh, heavy rain, you should still be fine. Even, even winds, um, you're gonna be fine. Uh, when you start getting major gusts of wind and the, and the gondolas would start rocking back and forth, they're, they're gonna wanna get guests off. Not that the gondolas are unsafe for any reason, but you know, for obvious reasons, people are just gonna feel unsecure and, and a little scared inside there. So uh, Disney wants to keep everybody safe. Um, don't have any worries. Uh, everything is, is gonna be great with these. Uh, if lightning were to strike one of them, the lightning can dissipate through the towers. The, the cables actually you see up at the top, those actually are for, for lightning strikes to dissipate energy through the towers if need be. So no worries, uh, that was just a lot of fun to watch. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Check out PassportToTheParks.com. You can see all kinds of great information there. And definitely if you haven't subscribed here on YouTube, I would appreciate that and drop some likes and some comments. Until then, we'll, uh, we'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.